how to change your 3D reality without effort. <laughs> well, it's effort and non-effort at the same time. So your life is reflecting your belief about yourself. So it's a direct reflection. It has no opinion. It has no... It doesn't... <laughs> it's not trying to <laughs> do anything. It doesn't... You know, it doesn't want to give you anything or not give you anything. It's just a reflection. It's purely... It's pure. It's a pure reflection. The fastest way to change your reality is to start to connect with being neutral. Being neutral is very simple. It's before we get polarized about something. <laughs> it's before there is frustration, before there is excitement, there is neutrality. Neutral ground is your power. If you want to have a harmony in your relationship, in your, let's say you have an intimate relationship and you want romance, harmony, you have to unplug from the current situation when it happens in front of you. So let's say your paradigm now is conflict and argument. If you step out of the dynamic, um, the conflict cannot go on on its own. But you will have to feel the vulnerable self when you do that. Because if you step out of the dynamic, you're not defending yourself or you're not overly helping the other person. You're just stepping out of the dynamic. You will have to feel some feeling that you may have been avoiding by engaging in the dynamic. And the, com the conflict <laughs> making mechanism, the dynamic may go on for a while as a kind of an echo. It's as if you just told reality, I'm not gonna engage into this dynamic anymore. Give me a sec. And you're receiving an echo of that reality for a while, asking you, are you sure? It's like an advertisement. Are you sure that you want to step out of this dynamic? It's like you, you see your new self is romance, joy, and so you are standing in your ground, not trying to get it by demanding anything, just knowing it's going to happen, I deserve it. Like truly centered, neutral. And reality will shift, will have to shift because that's how it works. So either this person will grow up or will leave. And if the person leave, it's because they, they couldn't grow up. Because you are inviting them in a higher frequency, a higher reality. And either they step up or they leave. If they start to step up, you're the one inviting them in a better, higher frequency reality. And if they accept the invitation, they will start to meet their own shit because you're not participating anymore. And as they meet their own shit, it's possible that they'll go through some turbulence and you will need to stand your ground until it shifts, really. Like, be patient. Because maybe the other person has been in this dynamic for a very long time and they're not as conscious as you are. So either you, and then you can go intuitively. Do I really, 
does this relationship have value for me? Does it serve me? And am I ready to be patient because I have this knowing? Or should I leave? And if you leave, you leave. It's okay to leave. But you really have to be grown up, like to be that grown up. And it, there's a part, it's like you have to reparent yourself. You have to have your internal mom and dad, like good mom and good dad, you know, rooting for you. It's like internal archetype to comfort your inner child. <laughs> if we want to express this in word with archetype, you become your own self-love, your own container of safety so that you can stand in your ground unthrown in chaos and then watch reality reflect that because you're now saying to reality this is what I am worthy of receiving and I know I am worthy of receiving it Reality has to morph. There's no separation. But manifestation is not gonna work if you do it with the mind only. You have to do it energetically. Your energy body has to be aligned. And if you are scared of not receiving it, it's going to show in your energy body and you're gonna start to take action that are not aligned with this intention. That's why inner child work is efficient to shift your life because your inner child has to feel so safe, so loved, so valued from inside that it doesn't want to search it from the outside. It's not trying to search it from the outside. And then you can even start to... Hmm, Embody the energy of romance. Embody the energy of excitement and adventure. Embody that energy of that future self that you are envisioning, your vision, your imagination. So you will start to take action that are matching that reality, which will accelerate the shift. That's conscious creation. You are the power of creation. The power of what is creating your life is your consciousness. Anything that you hold in consciousness is being reflected back at you. So becoming more and more conscious, getting out of victim consciousness will give you the abundance and the life that you want. It has to. It's a law, it's a law. It's a natural law. It's a new universal law. It's how the universe works. You are the universe. <laughs> you are. Everything that is appearing in your consciousness is your universe. So we each of us is the universe. Each of us, our life, is our mind out picture, our mind pushed out. That's true magic. If you feel ready, willing, and able to start to shift your consciousness and your energy body, book a meeting with me. It's USD $222 as of now, as of today. I'll put the link in the description. And I wish you everything that you deserve everything that is already in store for you. Bye-bye.